With non-communicable diseases accounting for 74% of all deaths worldwide, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, has scaled up efforts towards the elimination of trans fatty acid, TFAs, from food supplies in Nigeria. NAFDAQ Director General Professor Mojisola Adeyeye lamented that more than 36 million people die annually from NCDs, adding that cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of death, accounting for 17.5 million deaths annually. The report. Have been several campaigns with the use of unhealthy oil due to its harmful effect on people. Most of these products are reported containing high level of cholesterol, which increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases, leading to many deaths. To this end, the National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control (NAFDAQ) has expressed optimism that Nigerians will enjoy better food quality and health following the recent gazette of the revealed Fats, Oil and Food Containing Fats and Oil Regulation 2022 and the prepackaged Food Labeling Regulation 2022. NAVDAQ Director General Professor Mujisola Adeye disclosed this at a press briefing jointly organized by the agency and the Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, CAPA. Professor Adeye noted that Deaths attributable to trans fatty acids in Nigerian foods leading to heart disease, stroke, cancer, diabetes, and chronic lung disease, among others, will now reduce drastically. We have reviewed the fat and oils regulation and we have a newly gazetted regulation known as fat, oils, and food containing fat and oils regulation 2022. This regulation has addressed the second pathway for the elimination of industrially made fatty trans fatty acids with the limit of not more than 2% in all foods. In addition, the prepackaged food labeling regulation 2005 has also been reviewed to take place of the labeling requirements for trans fat acids. Hence, we now have a reviewed and gazetted pre-packaged food labeling regulations. She also revealed that NAVDAQ is already working with the industry and partners to find alternative source to the existing partially hydrogenated oils that are the source of industrially produced trans fatty acids. In his speech, Akimbodi Oluwafemi, Executive Director of Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, said the media must continue to play a key role in educating the public on the content. It's going from not mandatory, little information to more information. You can now see what is the content of saturated fats, what is the content of non-saturated fats, because of what? Because the, the food we eat can kill us. The food we eat can kill us. If you eat too much uh, saturated fat, it can start blocking the lining of the vessels, of, of blood vessels. And once that lining starts decreasing, uh, uh, getting narrowed, the, the space rather, start getting narrowed, then blood pressure. And with that, sometimes with diabetes and so on, cardiovascular diseases will start showing up. Uh, so what NAVDAQ is doing is making sure we are safeguarding the health of the nation by now become, you know, having uh, a labeling that an informed consumer can really understand and check and see. And from the part of the ministry, the ministry there have been an overhacking policy that is following that will come up, uh, up with it. Okay. We are also reviewing the national safety uh, put food safety and policy and quality policy, which have incorporated this uh, regulation to be part of it, okay. and it will soon be launched as well, so that you, the health of Nigerians will be perfectly taken into consideration. These have shown us that civil society can strongly partner with government to achieve a lot in this country. And when I mean a lot, I will also speak to what concerns your ministry, which is the areas of food policy. Uh, you mentioned sugar, you mentioned salt, 
and every other things that we consume. That we are ready as an organization to continue to partner with CAFA on all these areas and ensure that necessary policies and necessary regulations that will save Nigerians, I mean, save Nigeria's public health are all in place. If these regulations are well implemented and we, we stop having the wrong oils for the populace to use, the populace will be protected without them even knowing, without them even changing their lifestyles. So that's a wonderful thing that has happened with the coming into place of this regulation. The Fats, Oil and Food Containing Fats and Oil Regulation 2022 includes provisions on the scope of application, source of edible fats and oils, vitamin A fortification, additives and impurities. It also covers the labeling of fats and oils products, labeling limits and claims for trans fats and cholesterol and penalties, among others. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.